At SimpleTix.com, we're now completely integrated with Constant Contact. That means you don't need any third-party application like Zapier, Integromat, Make, or Integrately to do it. It's a direct integration, so it's not gonna cost you anything extra, just your normal SimpleTix rates for your per ticket fee, as well as your Constant Contact subscription. There's no extra fees. So let me show you how to set it up. So the first thing you'll do is um, log into your manager panel, go to settings, and then choose plugins, and then choose constant contact from the list of plugins. Now you'll choose this option here to connect with constant contact. Now, before I do this, I wanna let you know that um, the default settings that you have with Simple Six are um, for all of your events, that will be the default setting, we can put all of the ticket buyers onto a, subs a subscriber list. And um, you have the ability to change this per event, which is really handy. We'll go into that in today's demonstration. But the first thing I wanna do actually is in Constant Contact, I wanna go over to Lists. Now, General Interest is the default one everyone gets with a Constant Contact account. But I wanna create a new list right now. And I'm gonna call it like, um, like Ticket Buyers, for example. Now this is an extra step, you don't have to do it. Um, but I'm just kind of showing you that you can create a list inside of Constant Contact, and the magic is in a few seconds right here. So I'm gonna click Connect with Constant Contact right now. Now I'm already logged in, so I should, it didn't ask me to log in again. Um, and now I have to select an audience, and this is really your subscriber list. And Ticket Buyers, that's the one I just created. Um, if you only have one list in Constant Contact, no problem, you can go ahead and select it. Um, but if you want to choose a specific list, you can totally do that. Now you can set up tags, and the tags are basically the building blocks of segmentation. Um, so let's set up a few tags right now. Um, we already have a couple tags already created, so I'll go with um, simple ticks, and I'll go with tickets. And if you want to create any additional tags, you can just type them in right here. I'll click save now, and now we're all set up. Now, let me show you how you can modify this per event. So I'll choose events, and I will choose one specific event here. And if I scroll down here, I'm gonna notice a new area here um, called Constant Contact Settings. Here it is. Now, the default settings will will always be applied to all of your events. In our case, we chose a subscriber list called Ticket Buyers, and we had a couple tags. But over here, we can modify it. So let's say we want everyone to go to Ticket Buyers like before, but what event is this? This is a pumpkin picking um, season pass, right? So let's go with um, Simple Six. Let's go with tickets, but let's create a new one called um, Fall, actually Fall Events is already there. Let's call it also Pumpkins. And let's call it Season Pass. The reason why is if you ever wanna make a list inside of Constant Contact for anyone that's bought Fall Events, but didn't buy Pumpkins, that, would, that basically is a segmentation that you can build out. Now I spelled pumpkins wrong, I'll go ahead and delete that. I'll type it in again. Bingo. All right, I'll click save now. And now let's make a test order to see how it works. So I'll go over to dashboard and I'll copy the URL for this event. And I'll order some tickets. I'll click buy tickets. And I'll select a ticket. I'll put in a promo code to make this a free order. I'll click check out now. And I'll put in some details and I'll verify how it looks in Constant Contact. All right, so this is where the workflow just started. Um, basically, all those details, um, Frank's um, email address and his name should have gone into Constant Contact. Let's verify that. So go to Constant Contact here and I'll refresh my list. And I now see Frank Sinatra. Um, I'll go ahead and click on him here. And I can see those tags. I can see fall events, pumpkins, season pass, etc., etc. Um, so all the details are right here. Thanks for watching this video today on how to use Simple Ticks with Constant Contact. Um, this is a brand new plugin we just released this March. Um, feel free to give us any feedback. We're always looking for ways to make it better and enhance it. Um, this is a completely free plugin, there's no extra fees for it. So if you're currently using SimpleTix with Zapier to use Constant Contact to get them in there, you don't have to do that any longer. This will save you a lot of money. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.